Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome here as we're getting set for our second race of the third season of the DRL Red Bull GT Series as we're getting ready to go racing at Atlanta Motor Speedway for 82 laps of racing, which no, which means we know pit stops are going to play a factor in today's race and should be a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. Logan Williams is on the pole position for today's race here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway, as I'm going to go back to the points. Uh, I will fix that later, the playlist, that is. Logan Williams, 27th last time out. Josh Harmon alongside. Comes in this race dead last in the points table for right now. Uh... Desumi Takashi in row number two in the number five machine. Finished 35th at uh, Coca-Cola and Dylan Van Dyke. Uh, comes into this race after a top 10 result last week at uh, Coca-Cola. As you look at the rest of the starting lineup. So let's get these cars rolling while I take care of something on my phone. As these cars are now rolling off behind the pace car. Give me one second while I take care of a little uh, issue with a phone here. There we go. That's taken care of. Prince Smart nails the points leader by four points over Zachary Fitzwater. Summer Wagner, the rookie points leader, third in the standings. Six points back, a tie for fourth with Jesse Art and Timo Mauser. Sean Art is six, eight points back. Ten points back is Dylan Van Dyke, Jarrett Underhill. They're both trying to run down Summer Wagner for the rookie points lead. David Heller is ninth, tied with Tatiana Naguera, as they are 12 points out of the points lead. So we're going to see how this race is going to fare out in 82 laps time. Should be a fun race here today. Glad to have this series back from a two-month break. And we'll see how this race is going to play out during the course of today's action. Green flag is in the air. We're racing at Atlanta. The Red Bull GT Series is back. As everyone has taken the green. Logan Williams leads us into turns three and four as he will complete the first lap of this race. There's Prudence Martindale, last week's or last time out's winner, and Summer Wagner right now in the third position. Logan Williams leads this race here. This is 82 laps. These cars can only go 65 laps on a tank of fuel. So we'll have to see, you know, if, the, if we're going to have pit stops under green or under caution. In the test race, we had drivers that had a flat tires... And then we had a big wreck. Let's hope that's not the case here today. It's Courtney Lynn's back here at the rear of the field with Zachary Taylor, who's making his first start of the year. Bradley Ream. Sean Art, top 10 in the points table coming into this race. There's Annie Crunchell there, Chaz Farmer. There's Naguera. There's Os Oskin. 
There's Langlin. Three wide right up there. They're almost four wide. That was nearly close. I was about to be a wreck for wreck right there. There's the other uh, driver making her debut. That would be Maddie Crenshaw. That's the older sister of Annie Crenshaw. Prince Martindale trying to go back to back, which the last time somebody went back to back to start the season, believe it or not, Valentina Fernandez did that in the Monster Energy Series at this same track. Went one at Ricky went back to back and one at um one at uh Atlanta, which is the track we're at this week. Summer Wagner. Having a very good season so far, or a good start to her rookie campaign in the Red Bull GT series. Right behind is Will Parrish. Next week, we're going to Las Vegas. Will Parrish is the defending winner of this event. Last season, Kyle Langland went to victory lane here at Atlanta. I'm trying to remember if we raced here in Season 1 at Atlanta or not. But I might be incorrect. I'm looking to see if we did race. We raced in season one, or no, season one. Let me look here. We did not race at Atlanta. So it was only season two and season three we've raced at Atlanta. Season one was only a nine race schedule. Season two... was our debut at this track last season. There's uh, Martindale in second. She's trying to attain the points lead. The guy that's trying to run her down for the points lead, Fitzwater, is currently in the 33rd position. Came in as very second in points. Here comes Martindale, going to take a turn to the race lead as we're completing 14 laps of this 82 lap event. This is going to be one of our longer races on the mile and a half. Well, Parrish still your race leader. Sebastian Palmer is now up to second. Well, here comes David Heller. Underneath Sebastian Palmer, passing Prudence Martindale, and also bringing Summer Wagner with, 
with him. In between Coca-Cola and also here this week in Atlanta, David Heller's dad passed away, just like my dad passed away back in uh, back in May, or no, back in April rather. I want to send our condolences. Wouldn't, wouldn't this be a good honor if David Heller wins in his dad's memory? I want to send our condolences to David Heller. Of course, they've already had the funeral uh, several weeks ago. Which I did watch the uh, service that David gave to his dad. And it's an incredible uh, speech, I have to say. So David Heller would like to, would be happy if he wins this race in his dad's memory. David Heller was tied for ninth in the point standings with Tatiana Nagora coming into today's race as we're about to complete 20 laps so far. Check the back of the field here. We have Sean Art and Elena Aurora. Aurora raced last week at Coca-Cola in the Diva Cup Series, which you will see are going to be in the Diva Cup Series this year. You will see her as the other 41 girls in that series. Same with the Diva Trucks and the Diva Bush. Hadley Martindale. There's Zachary Fitzwater, second in points. Not the run he is having here today. There's Anthony Finelli right behind Carlos, right in front of Carlos Rodriguez. Zachary Taylor, right behind Sky, or right behind Ingrid Pollard. Sorry, Zachary Taylor, veteran of this series. Ingrid Pollard, the 2023 Amateur Series champion on this channel. Ingrid Pollard will be driving in the Coca-Cola Truck Series. Driving the number 28 machine in in 2025. Looking forward to see how she does in her first start of the tr of her truck series career. It'll be really popular to see how Ingrid Pollard's going to do that year. Nathan Murphy having a good run. We're going to get back up to the race leaders here as they have this pack spread out. David Heller just led that lap as they already passed Andrew Williams. That's uh, Will Parrish now going for the race lead. Logan dropped back to third, but he went second back from David Heller. Lap 26 of 82 on the board. Glad you're with us here. If you just joined us, Dean is here from Atlanta, Georgia. Or Hampton, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. That's Sebastian Palmer, and there's Jackson Harrison. We haven't talked much about Jackson this season as he's making his second DRO Red Bull GT Series start of his career. Of 
Jackson looking to bounce back from a tough race at Coca-Cola. Where he ended up 36 in that race. Nathan Murphy 34. There's a lot of drivers who need a good need a bounce back result after a struggling start to the season. Jared Underhill. He was tied with Dylan Van Dyke for second in the Rookie of the Year standings and also top 10 of the points. The gal he's trying to run down for the Rookie of the Year is in 10th. That would be Summer Wagner. There's Addison Peterson in the 66, last year's Rookie of the Year in the Red Bull GT Series champ. 33rd last time out of Coca-Cola. We'll see if she can have a much better result here this weekend. Addison Peterson is going to be one busy lady in 2025 as she will be racing the Napa Filter Pro Series as well as the As well as the uh, Coca-Cola Truck Series. And she's going underneath the 40th Sebastian Palmer. Peterson, I believe, is also going to be a... One of the one of the gals that's going to be in the Diva Series. I know uh, Jesse Art's also going to be in the Diva Cup Series, driving for the Bam Racing Dodge. Nice little green flag run to start this race off, as we're nearing the midway point of today's race. Half of eighty. Two is lap is forty one. Will perish. Last season won at Las Vegas. Trying to get his first win of the year. Of course that's the track we're going to next week. Is Las Vegas. That'll be by the way next week. You will see that race. It'll be a 5.30pm Eastern Standard Time. Green flag. Should be a fun race out at Viva Las Vegas. Notice the six car has gone one lap down. That would be Zachary Taylor. Looks like he made an unscheduled pit stop. Wonder if he picked up a flat tire or something. He came to pit road just now. Which was lap 36. And let me see if I can do some math in my head here. Zachary Taylor pit at lap 36. He can make it the rest of the way.
The problem for Taylor, though, Zachary Taylor, that is, is that if we get a caution, this is going to take him out of any chances to get back on the lead lap. So what Taylor needs to have happen, Zachary Taylor to be more specific, because there's two Taylors in the field, so I'm not trying to confuse Skyler and Zachary Taylor at the same time. What Zachary Taylor needs to have happen is he needs all of these pit stops to get cycled and then hope for a caution to come out after the cycle of pit stops. That way he's back on sequence with everybody. And the last thing that six team needs to see is a caution because that would, like I said, take Zachary Taylor out of any good chance of a good result. That would be Zachary Taylor's only shot right now. Get these pit stops cycled through and then get a yellow. So that way he can get cycled back up and get caught back up. Addison Peterson going to go to the race league, going by Will Parrish, as we're going to be halfway through this race, lap 41 of 82. We have 41 laps complete, 41 laps to go in this race. Right now, Jared Underhill and David Heller battling for the fourth position. Jesse Art is sixth. Prudence Burntdale seventh. Sebastian Palmer eighth. Summer Wagner ninth. And Jackson Harrison complete the top ten. The question now for these drivers is pit stops. Zachary Taylor has gone another lap down, so there might be more than just a flat tire he had. As he's now two laps down, but like I said, he's on fresher tires. Addison Peterson, still your race leader. First time a DVR driver has won a championship. Which is great news. Of course, last time a DVR driver won a championship in the NR community was Season 7 of the Budweiser All-Pro Series. Peterson still the race leader. Thought some people were going to come to pit road.
<clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry for not getting back to the leader, Addison Peterson. Okay, there we go. I had to take care of something in my server. Sorry for not commentating a lot. There's Emma Kaiser, Tatiana Guerra, right, right in front of Skylar Taylor. Addison Peterson, as we have a side-by-side -side battle between Jesse Art and Logan Williams. As we're getting closer and closer to pit stops. Jesse Art trying to run down Addison Peterson, which she is only a second behind. We only have 38 cars now on the lead lap. Cody Smart is now two laps down. Not sure what has happened as Tatiana Guerra has come to pit road. So it looks like we've had green flag pit stops going on. Let me confirm that. Yep, pit stops. At the conclusion of lap 58. Or 57, excuse me. The max you can go on fuel is 65. Jesse Art's coming in. Logan Williams is coming in. Got to be careful not to cause a pit lane collision, guys and gals. That's what these drivers need to be a little bit more careful. I see some rear end damage on the two. Right there. Yeah, he's got some rear end damage. I'm not sure where that came from. I'm going to have to look back at a replay to find out what happened... To Nathan Murphy, why he's got damage on the back of his car. Race leaders in. That would be Addison Peterson. And this is what Zachary Taylor needed to see. Is these pit stops being cycled. As we're going to see Addison Peterson. They're taking four tires and fuel. 
Now, barring any issues that happens between now and then, these drivers will make it the rest of the way on fuel and on tires. And down goes the Rain-X Dodge Viper. And yes, Addison Peterson has a driver's license, and she's racing at 18 years old, which is incredible. As now Jesse Art leads the race. And has Zachary Taylor's strategy worked? Looks like the answer is yes. Nathan Murphy is one lap down. So um, while this race is going on, we're going to jump back, look at a replay to see why the two car is a lap down as we're nearing the end of this race here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. This is what happened to Nathan Murphy, why he has a lot of damage to the car. Here he is coming to pit run. Looks like Anthony Finelli just forgot where the brake pedal is. And I'm being told this incident is getting reviewed by race control. As Nathan Murphy is going to get rammed. Got a helicopter view by the 64, but that's where that's the least of the troubles for Nathan Murphy. As we'll show to you again. Yeah, Nathan Finelli just should have slowed up a lot quicker and just rammed into the back of that that two machine. And then it gets worse. Looks like the zero looks like he spun the zero tried to spin the zero six out. That was Salmon Oskin trying to get to Pit Road. And there's where Sean R gets a piece. There's where Elena Roar gets a piece. And that's why those three cars had it had an extended stay a little bit to repair the damage. And that's why the two cars got a lot of rear end damage. So, But race control has ensured to me this incident is going to get looked at after the race is over. And there's going to be some drivers asked to see the DRL officials in the trailer after the race. So that's what happened on the pit road. Let's go back to live action here at Atlanta. Back here at Atlanta Motor Speedway as David Heller going side by side with the four of Will Parrish, as we've already told you what happened on the pit road. And race control has asked that Anthony Finelli, Nathan Murphy, uh, and the 06 of Summit Oscan to see the stewards in the, in the trailer for that pit road collision. As that could have been, like I said, avoided by the 64 if he could have slowed down a little bit. And now we know why Nathan Murphy had a lot of damage. It's because he was coming on the pit road, trying to get down the pit road speed, as we're going to be on that cursive number in a second. And unfortunately, he got rear-ended by Anthony Finelli, and then got hit again by, or Oskin chopped him off. So those two incidents are going to be looked at after the race. I wouldn't be surprised if we see penalties like a grid penalty, like a sense to the back of the grid. As David Heller currently the leaders, we're going to get inside the 10 to go. About to put Zachary Taylor another lap down. Looks like Taylor's strategy is not working. And Jackson, um, and Jackson Harrison has taken his car back behind the wall due to an engine failure. 
on that machine. So it's up break for Jackson Harrison. Had a bad, had a struggling debut, finished in the 36th position, and now he's going to finish out of the race in 40th. So not the start of the year for that rookie that he was hoping for. As we have 10 laps of racing to go here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. David Heller currently leads the way. Next week, we'll be at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, a uh, 5.30 Eastern Standard Time green flag. Hope you'll join us for that. David Heller from Chandler, Oklahoma, trying to take his first win of the of the season. Will Parrish, Jesse Art. Good run for Jesse Art. Her brother Sean had troubles today, got damage in currently in 32nd. Elena Aurora had damage. She's now 34, so. It's up break for those two drivers who had good runs going. We have 36 of our 40 drivers on the lead lap. Kasumi Takashi, the last on the lead lap. Three drivers are a lap down. That would be Zachary Taylor, uh, Cody Smart, and... Zachary Taylor, Cody Smart, and uh, Nathan Murphy, who had damage... And then Jackson Harrison is the only driver out of the race due to an engine failure, uh, which is a mechanical failure. But so far, we have not had a caution flag yet, which is a good thing for this series. Excuse me. As my side just started hurting. Uh, but I'll be alright. So we got three laps of racing to go. Here at Atlanta. Or three laps to go next time by. If the caution were to come out at any point. The race would end under the yellow flag. Right now, it looks like it's a battle between Will Parrish and David Heller for this race win. So we have two laps of racing to go. Sorry, my bed came apart, so I had to fix it. Here comes Addison Peterson. Remember, she's on fresher tires than these two. Here we come. White flag. One more lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. David Heller leads the race. <sighs> Don't know if Addison's going to get to David, but we'll see as we're down the back straightaway for the last time here in Atlanta. Don't think she's going to get the run. After losing his dad uh, in between last race and this race, an emotional win for David Heller as he wins 
here today at Atlanta Motor Speedway. I said it back at the top of the show in this race. How would it be for David Heller to win this race after losing his dad? I bet you he is delighted. And David Heller will go to victory lane here today at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Standings are indeed official. Asin Peterson will get second. She had a terrible race at Coca-Cola. Good run for her. Will Parrish third. Jesse Art fourth. Jared Underhill, the highest rookie finisher in fifth. Tatiana Gora, Timo Mauser, Kyler Anderson, Sebastian Palmer, and Skylar Taylor will complete your top ten. As you look on down through the remainder of the finishing results, 36 drivers finished on the lead lap. Kasumi Takashi was the last driver to do that. Cody Smart, Nathan Murphy, Zachary Taylor all finished one lap down. And Jackson Harrison was the only driver who finished out of the race due to a mechanical failure that took him out of the event after he had a very good run going in the early portion of this race. But that is going to do it from D Atlanta Motor Speedway. Next week, we head to Las Vegas Motor Speedway in Las Vegas, Nevada. Should be a fun race over there. Hope you guys will tune in for that. Hope you guys enjoyed today's race in Atlanta. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe to become part of the PCS Ray Crew today. We show your full finish result. Your points are down in the description heading into next week at Las Vegas. Until then, I've been Dieter Vols signing off as you've been watching yet another broadcast of the DRL Red Bull GT Series on the PCS Ray Sports and Given channel where champions are made since 2010 and the best in racing around the world since 2017. So long from the Peach State of Georgia.